Hi friends, uh, whenever you think about doing some keyword analysis or keyword research, what you have to figure out first is to create a kind of content hierarchy. Like what are your main products, what are their categories, subcategories, and then what items comes under that. For example, I have a good example here that is from wayfair.co.uk. What you can see here, like they have divided the furniture as a main category into many subcategories here. Like for example, you can see that furniture has been divided into bedroom furniture, kitchen and dining furniture, living room furniture, bathroom furniture, hallway furniture, and garden or outdoor furniture you can see. So this is one of the examples of the content hierarchy. And then you can see under the bedroom furniture, they have come up with beds, mattresses, wardrobes, chest of drawers, bedside tables, bedside sets, dressing tables. And similarly, you can see under the kitchen and dining, they have multiple items listed. Similarly, if you are thinking about uh, Emirates NBD bank, like it can be any other bank. I'm just giving you an example of Emirates NBD. What comes in your mind when you think about Emirates NBD? Sometimes we say bank or banking or financial institute. By the way, these are very broad keywords. So I think that is not the right idea to just think about broader keywords. We have to categorize them first. You can see how Emirates NBD has categorized its personal banking into accounts, into loans, then banking packages, cards, insurance, way of banking, or even foreign exchange, you can say. So like for example, when we are thinking about loans, still loans are quite broad if you just work on the word loans it is not enough you have to further categorize it like for example personal loans or car loans or home loans or overdraft similarly if you think about insurance insurance can further be divided into life insurance health insurance travel insurance home insurance car insurance right so this is a the second example I think one the third example can be a newspaper like Gulf News. You can see Gulf News is too too big, right? They have categorized their newspaper into UA categories, business categories, going out, travel, lifestyle, sports, technology, right? So whenever you post something, it is important that you categorize it and you post it into the relevant category, right? Even if you think about a dental clinic, like I have an example here, like Dr. Joy Dental Clinic, what you will really like that they have come up with a subdivision of the category of their products. How they have categorized? Let's try it. So as I'm opening this Dr. Joy Dental Clinic dot com, you can see how they have structured their content. Like if you go to their tabs menu, our services you can see that they have created orthodontics then teeth whitening then dental implants and children dentistry cosmetic dentistry right like for example even if i'm thinking about teeth whitening they have come up with three subcategories for that like home teeth whitening laser teeth whitening and zoom teeth whitening what i feel like whenever you think about your main categories and subcategories they are really helpful in order to create a, a very broad hierarchy of your products and services because the, the more pages you are going to have in your SEO strategy, the better results you are going to expect. All right, so the first step is to create a hierarchy. This can be done on a paper. This can be done on a Word document or you can use like any other document for that. And then what what you will do, what, what will be the next step? Then you will start producing the keyword list for each of these products and services. Means we will take one product at a time while doing the keyword research. For example, if I'm thinking about personal banking or like home finance. So we'll take it as a topic like home finance is one of the topic or we can say home loans or house loan and then we will start doing the keyword analysis right 
now what are the steps involved in doing for doing the keyword analysis i think you should start with brainstorming brainstorming is what like have a meeting with the relevant people invite the people who are quite expert in that in your area on your business like from your company and then ask them give them a pen and paper and ask them like write few sentences few keyword phrases about what you will search if you are thinking about home finance so people will come up with a variety of keyword ask them don't share while they are brainstorming while they are thinking about it and while they are noting it down but once they are done then combine all those sheets and you'll be surprised to see the number of keywords they have come up with for one specific product that you have completed and then you have to repeat the same thing for the next product third product fourth product and so on okay so hope this video helps you to start doing the keyword analysis in the next video i will talk about some keywords tool that are available there in order to come up with a better idea for your better product uh, keyword research or services related keyword research thank you so much